Welcome to our monthly Forge newsletter. This month, we are going to talk about three of the main features incorporated with Forge NXT 2.0. We provide an example for each feature. First, we show how to use the Import Assembly feature. Once you have opened your project, we recommend to prepare your objects before importing the assembly. You can duplicate, delete, or rename your objects in the Object window. Make sure you are in the Simulation options. If not, click in any empty space in the Visualization window or unselect the current object. You will see the option Import Assembly in the Parameters tab inside the Actions window. Now, click Import Assembly and look for your CAD file. This file must be in STL format for this feature to work. You will see all the parts created in your CAD software. When clicking in the drop-down menu, the part will be highlighted in the visualization window. Also, you will see different options to select, including all the objects that have been created before importing the assembly. Do not worry if you forget to create all the objects. Selecting the New Object option will automatically open the interface to create a new object. Click the check mark to finish the process. All the geometries have been correctly imported. Next, we show how to save our workspace. In this example, I have four windows with different stages and results to visualize all the relevant information in my project. With this new feature, I am able to save this workspace and load it later, even after closing Forge. Thus, next time I open my project, I can visualize the same information, skipping all the preparation work. It is important to highlight that workspaces are linked to specific simulations. This means that our saved workspace will not work if we apply any changes in the names or the path of the simulation. You can save your workspace from the Home tab. To open your workspace later, again, go to the Home tab. You can create up to nine windows and show different stages and steps on them. Also, we can load any visualization object like cutting planes, ISO volumes, or plots. Finally, we will show the new options for marking grids. First, I add a marking grid object, as always. You can see that now. Despite the Import Grid option and the Create Grain Flow Fibers option, there are three new possibilities. First, we show the Plane Layers Marking Grid. Here, we just have to select the reference plane and the number of planes we want. Second, we show the Cylinder Network. This option will create perpendicular cylinders to the reference plane selected. We can select as many cylinders as we want in each direction and their radius.
The last option is the underskin layer. We can specify different depths to detect underskin's defects. That is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this newsletter. Please feel free to contact us if you have any question or comment. You can contact Nicholas Poulain at nicholas.poulain at transvalorimericas.com. You can also find this newsletter as well as all other past newsletters on our website www.transvalorusa.com section newsletters. Thank you for joining the community of our newsletter readers, and we will see you next month for some other exciting videos. Have a nice day.